objective of this video is to understand what is property binding and how to use the property binding in angular well property binding is a way of binding the property of the element present in the dom with the property or the field present in the class of a component's typescript code now when we say dom what happens is every time we are loading a particular html code into our browser browser prepares a document object model so each element is referred to a object in the dom now these element have certain properties and these properties can be linked with our typescript class properties or fields which allows us to update these values dynamically now this is a kind of a one way flow of data in this case what happens whenever the value is updated in the typescript class it automatically gets updated in the components template view if that particular property of dom is bound to that particular field in the class of component now in order to implement the property binding we have to use following syntax so we'll be having the element name and a property enclosed in the square brackets will be assigned to a variable name so the blank here i have kept it will be a variable name or the field name that is present in the components class once this syntax is written we will be able to view or update those properties as and when required now let's go and see an example now here is a simple example that i have prepared which has a image tag and a button now let's go and see how we can use the property binding for these two elements now we are going to reuse the sample project that we had created in the previous video but i have added a new component here called property binding component.html now in this one i have used two tags one is the image tag where a src property so, so the source of the image is added here then there is a button element now it has name type and disable property so our focus in this video will be for the src and the disable property now if i want to update this particular path dynamically what i will have to do is i'll first enclose this particular property with square brackets once the property is enclosed in the square brackets i need to assign a typescript class property here so in order to update this first need to create a property within component.ts so here i have created that particular variable image path which is of type string and it contains a static value in this one so what i am going to do i am going to take this image path then remove the existing path here and add so the next time we will see the image that image will be taken from this particular path so let's go and see the output now you can see the image is changed and it is taking the path from the components property so the property binding is a one way binding where we have updated the property in the component class and that same value is getting reflected for that property of the image element in the dom so every time the image path is updated the src element so value will be updated and the image on the ui will be changing same way we have a button element which has a disable property now this particular property if it is assigned like this the button will remain disabled now in order to make sure that the value is changed dynamically we can again include this in the square brackets then assign a value here now in order to assign a value again i have to create a property or a field in the components class so here is disabled is created which is of type boolean since the disabled property takes boolean type 
and I have set its value to true. So, so I'm setting the disables property here to is disabled. Now I'm going to save this. Now since it is disabled is set to true, the button will remain disabled. Now let's change it to false. Now save it. Let's see the output. Now you can see the button is enabled. So this is how you can use the property binding to bind the property of a particular elements to a property within the class of a component. So this is another video that I have created for basic understanding. We'll be seeing the property binding in much more detail when we see the section of data binding. But for examples that we are seeing for component, I have created this video. I hope you have understood this video. Do subscribe and thank you.